So uh, we're going to just look at the rolling patterns one and two and their applications in modal context that we're reviewing this week. So uh, you got your C major scale. And the modes of the C major scale all use white notes. Right, all the way up and down. It's all going to be white notes. It's a C major scale. So you got D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, G Mixolydian, A Aeolian, which is also the same as A minor, and B Locrian. Okay, so we're going to use this rolling pattern. Um, so, for example, you have uh, rolling pattern number one, I think is... That's it. So, left, 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 right, right, left, right, right. That's really the important thing to understand about that pattern is you've got left, 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 right, right, left, right, right. is that the first two notes are the root and the fifth. Um, the reason that's important for this exercise is that that root and fifth really establishes the tonality. Okay, The lowest note establishes the tonality and tells us what mode we're in. Add the fifth and you're just locked in there. <laughs> All right. And for this exercise, that's what we want. So now let's try bringing in a modal color uh, to this exercise. So let's, I love Lydian mode. It's one of my favorites, real uh, game changer for me to sort of discover how to improvise in Lydian mode. Um, so we'll do the easiest Lydian mode, which of course is F Lydian, because it just uses the white notes. What's different about F Lydian than, for example, F major? That's F major answer that question yourself. All right. So let's do rolling pattern number one. switch to D Dorian and back to Lydian. So that was all dealing with F Lydian and D Dorian and a little bit of G Mixolydian and basically all in our left, 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 right, right, left, right, right rolling pattern. Okay. Rolling pattern uh, number two uh, on the sheet is, or really it's. Left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, right, rest, 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 is pattern number two. Now, these are just two patterns. You can, of course, use seven million patterns, and you can make up your own, and they don't have to be in 4-4. Four, four. They can be in seven. They can be in whatever. These are just two really basic ones that sound good and maybe are a good way for you to explore the modes. Now, 
let's look at a different I'm going to use the same modes because I like them or maybe I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up a little bit but let's go on a, in a different key so the key of G where is Lydian mode in the key of G so we're only allowed to use the notes from the G major scale okay G major scale but we're gonna play in Lydian mode so where will that start from I'll wait That's right, C. Lydian mode always starts from the fourth degree of whatever major scale you're working with. So if you're in G major, it starts from C. If you're in C, as we saw, it starts from F. If you're in the key of E, where does Lydian mode start from? If there's E major, where does Lydian mode start from? That's right, A. The fourth degree. How about mixolydian mode? Starts from the fifth degree. So in the key of E, mixolydian mode would start from B. Ha, for you German speakers. All right. Uh, so let's go back to C lydian, which is in the key of G. Where's mixolydian in the key of G? D. By the way, what's the difference between D mixolydian and D major? There's D mixolydian and D major. You can answer that question yourself. All right, let's do some stuff. I think I'll work with uh, Lydian and Phrygian this time. So Phrygian starts from the third degree. like the way it transitions into Lydian. So we'll do that, and we're going to do rolling pattern number two, uh, which is left, 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 right, 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 left, left, basically. side note here I love the sound of the blues and minor pentatonics and just pentatonic scales in general they I love folk music and and rootsy music and so I love to include those kind of shapes when I'm working really in anything but I love them inside a mode so where what do I mean by that where is there a pentatonic shape inside this improvisation check it out got B minor pentatonic and even a little bit of the blues scale which breaks the character of the mode but if you don't lay on that note use it as a passing note you 
can get some really nice effects. Let me just stick it in C Lydian. So in C Lydian, there's that pentatonic. It's not even touching the tonic of the mode. It's not touching the root note of the mode, but I love that. I love that displacement. Is that same pentatonic, how is it functioning? It's functioning as D major pentatonic because B minor pentatonic is the same as D major pentatonic. So if I move up to D mixolydian, it just fits right in there. C major pentatonic on across D mixolydian. But displaced pentatonics are a conversation for another time. Thanks a lot. Have fun.